shoe that has saved me a lot of stress. I want to thank Vessi for sponsoring today's video. Vessi's are incredibly comfortable, stylish sneakers that I can honestly say I can wear year round. What's amazing is they are 100% waterproof. Yes, not just water resistant, waterproof. That's with their Diamond Tech technology, which is a dual climate knit, which keeps you cool in the summer and then warm in the winter. The crazy thing is it doesn't look or feel waterproof, but it really is. And I've tested their durability and waterproof abilities both out in the real world and even in my kitchen. Like here at the sink, water doesn't even soak into the material at all. And everything, like the tissue, inside remains dry. They're also sustainably made and super easy to clean. You can literally just rinse them off. I've worn Vessi's for a while, but I just got these new weekend models, so look forward to seeing these around in future videos. But Vessi's are definitely my go-to shoe by the door. In fact, I'm gonna go take mine out and hit the town, show them off a little bit. So check them out and grab a pair yourself using the code JHanson. Yes, that's right, click that link down below and use the code J. Hanson, and that's going to get you $25 off your pair of vests. So that link into the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel here. Today we're in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, that's right. My first time actually being in Cincinnati, Ohio. And today we're doing one of the legendary challenges in the area. That is the Blue Ash Chili Challenge. Yes, so this massive, massive challenge features kind of a Cincinnati style chili or kind of like a three-way they call it. So what's really unique about Cincinnati is they actually put like chili on spaghetti. Yes, so it's kind of like a sauce. And then a Cincinnati style kind of chili is like really thin. It's not like a lot of beans and stuff. So it's basically like uh, this challenge, which totals about eight pounds is two and a half pounds of spaghetti, two and a half pounds of their chili, two pounds of shredded cheese, it's a lot of cheese, and one pound of jalapeno tops or jalapeno caps they call them which are basically deep fried jalapenos so this is going to be very interesting because not only is this a huge 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 giant basically plate of spaghetti with chili as a sauce with cheese but it's also spicy so this is probably going to shred my guts up but anyway win in rome so they say uh, we are going to have one hour to complete the challenge if we do we get the meal for free which is pretty cool uh, you get a picture like on the wall of fame and if we fail it is forty dollars um, at this location there's two locations no one has ever beaten it at this location. Ever, ever, ever. Nobody ever has beaten it at this location. So if we do, we'll be the first to beat it at this location. Maybe that means it's bigger this location, we'll find out. Um, whereas the other location, there's been a handful of winners. Uh, so with that, let's basically head on in. Let's see what we can do. Should be fun. So basically a giant spaghetti challenge. So that's about it. Wish me luck and let's eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. So definitely, definitely a great big pile of Chili spaghetti? I don't really know what you call it. Chili spaghetti cheese and jalapeno caps. So, this should be really interesting. Um, I mean, you know how I feel about cheese, and if you don't, let's just say me and cheese have an interesting relationship. But I'm sure the chili is fantastic. I'm sure this will be a really delicious dish overall. I'm very, very excited to try kind of a Cincinnati style chili, and or in this case, kind of chili on spaghetti. So very interesting. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna start here just momentarily. That's about it. We actually have our official little timer right here. So, uh, do I do I press? Do you want to press? I can it? press it. All right. So how about we start? Let's say the count of five. Hopefully this isn't too 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 hot. Ah, uh, steaming. Oh, well, how about five, four, three, two, one? Whenever you're ready. Let's go. A lot of cheese, but I will say, the first bites are absolutely delicious. Very, very good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here in Cincinnati, Ohio at Blue Ash Chili. So I've been wanting to get to the area for a very long time and specifically wanted to do this challenge. So this challenge is very, very famous. It got a lot of notoriety from being on the Food Network's Enormous Foods, as well as a lot of other food series. Um, so Enormous Foods was very similar to Man vs. Food, just they didn't have the actual host per se. So this was basically a challenge that appeared on, you know, kind of Man vs. Food, but, you know, at least the equivalents of the Food Network's Enormous Foods, and I can see why. Here we have an enormous eight pound Cincinnati chili. Oh, there was a bib too. I'll throw the bib on. Always protect yourself, kids. Always use protection. You can quote me on that. We don't want no accidents. So this style would be called a three-way, and then they'd have a two-way, a four-way, a five-way, a six-way, 
But what that exactly means, because I understand some individuals might be uh, not familiar how this terminology is being used, that would mean the spaghetti, the cheese, and the chili. Um, whereas then this one I think technically would be considered a three-way plus jalapenos. And then if you had like a four-way, you might have like onions at it, and you had a five-way, you'd have something else, six-way, um, and so on. You get the picture. So this is a three-way, or the classic. Get some of those jalapeno bites in there. A little spicy. So if you've never had a Cincinnati style chili like I had not before this, it is basically I would call kind of like a pasta sauce or a lot similar to like a spaghetti sauce in a way. It's not like a chunky hearty chili, um, but there's definitely a lot of ground beef in it or it's kind of like maybe taking a, you know, a, a, a hearty chili and putting it through a blender. Um, kind of like we saw at the beginning there, it is like a liquidy consistency, but again, quite smooth. Um, I will say its flavor profile though is absolutely delicious. I think we had like, kind of like some like winter spices in there, a little bit of heat, uh, just it was savory, it was salty, it was awesome. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it tastes really good on spaghetti. So chili tastes really good on spaghetti. Whoops. I lost the bib. Chili on spaghetti is kind of like a Cincinnati dish, like this area, that's what it's known for. And again, it's this very specific like Cincinnati style chili. And I will say like, I was absolutely loving the flavor of it. Even with the cheese on it, I'm not the biggest cheese fan, admittingly, which if you like cheese, comment down below right now, but I'm not the biggest cheese fan. But even with the cheese, this was tasting absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't jinx me yet. Yeah. yeah, it's actually very, very delicious. The uh, Cincinnati style chili is fantastic. It is definitely different that there's so much cheese on spaghetti, but... Jalapeno poppers are going to be the interesting part. As we mentioned, this challenge had not been actually completed at this location. This was the newer location. Uh, the other uh, flagship location had been around for years, and even this one had been around for like at least, I think, five to ten years, so definitely a long time. Um, and then again, if you win, you get the free meal, you get a t-shirt, all that pretty cool stuff. Um, and then, of course, there was all the jalapeno caps. So I was a little worried for that because I knew it was going to get really, really spicy. Um, but I was thoroughly enjoying this challenge. And again, for something that was like basically spaghetti noodles and chili and cheese, again, I was definitely, oh, let's just say I didn't have the highest expectations. But I will actually say this is probably one of my favorite and most memorable challenges in a long, in, like that I've had in a long, long, long time. Yes, yeah, seriously. One of the most memorable, tastiest, and delicious. Probably because I had such maybe odd expectations or different expectations and like I said totally blew me out of the water so if you're ever in the area you definitely have to try a Cincinnati style chili Woo. coming out about five minutes I'm gonna do the bell I think we need a little more room in there Woo. a lot of chili but um yeah it's gonna get more interesting I'll eat the jalapeno tops a little spicy but excuse me Woo. No shortage of food, but I gotta say, this chili is fantastic. It's a Cincinnati style chili. I approve. So a lot of different eaters have done this challenge in the past, such as Molly Schuyler, who held the record and had the female record. Um, the overall record, which was held by Molly, was about six minutes. And then the overall male record, I believe, was held by Brandon the Garbage Disposal, which was about nine minutes. Um, then we had other eaters like Randy Santel. He tried this a uh, number of years ago. Um, and definitely kind of the list goes on, as it's definitely, like I said, definitely kind of a notable challenge in the area. Uh, that being said, as I'm switching to a spoon and starting to dive in these jalapenos, I'm going to let you get to the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's tune on in to see what happens. Um, you know, have you ever had a Cincinnati chili? And if you have, let me know what you thought of it down below. Because chili on spaghetti sounds a little weird. I thought it was a little weird, but it was surprisingly enjoyable. So with that, everybody, let's get, let's get to the rest of the video and uh, let's see what happens. 
second very very delicious really enjoyed kind of that the Cincinnati style chili the jalapeno is definitely a little spicy at the end but so happens you get the meal for free which is pretty cool we get a picture of the wall of fame do we have a t-shirt right now maybe we'll find out um but yeah that really delicious would definitely recommend checking out blue ass chili really really supportive people here as well um so yeah we're also the first winner at this location and i think that is the fast the second fastest time i believe bali did it's like five minutes which is insane but uh, very delicious, thoroughly enjoyed that. So that everybody, until next time, of course, you're happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That was about it. So, uh, with that, have a little day. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.